Okay, hello there. I'm just going to show you a quick and easy way I converted the Lidl glider into the uh, new Fliddle that uh, Martin and uh, the others have done on his uh, YouTube channel, Flybar. Um, so basically I made my own plan up, but you don't really need a plan. Okay, now I've drawn the plan so I can get everything right. So my angle for my wing is 110 degrees. That's the leading edge, this part here, is at 110 degrees with, with a sweep back. Okay, I decided not to cut the tips off. Okay, as Martin did, and I decided to fit the fins at the back straight, as you can see here. Okay, now initially I did build it pretty much the same as Martin did. Now I've used old stock, which means that this one is flat on the bottom, and you'll see they come with a dihedral in. Now, all that Martin did with his is measure the center line. Yeah, and cut a triangle section out, triangle section out like that, yeah, cut that out and then glued the two halves together as you can see there and put it together, put the fins together, now while I was flying mine and if you watch uh, Martin's videos you'll see that the uh, the plane's not very stable in the roll axis, okay, so I decided to see if I can improve on that so on mine, all I did was flatten the wings out. So the wings are now totally flat. So all I did was score a line, cut a line in there, and put some fiberglass uh, rods in there out of a kite. You don't need to go for a, a carbon tube, but just something like that. And all it's for is to keep the wing straight. So I used a fiberglass kite, about two millimeters, slotted in, put super glue in there, and that's it. Then put that on. And I found that when I fly it, now it is very very stable also the uh, angle of the motor is slightly pointing upwards okay not downwards don't know how well you can see that on there and my CAG is a hundred mil I did try it originally on the 80 mil or, but it didn't work for me but and this is because I changed the wing now then regarding the wing I didn't shape any in front bit if you can see it there. I literally just mark the center line, mark the center line, I measured a hundred mil out, a hundred mil out, and then I cut that triangle section out and I put the two halves together. Now they won't fit back in that slot because it's wider. Okay, so I cut a slot out here. Yeah. Now this is the first one I tried, see it's a lot narrower. I cut a small slot out of the back, but the bigger slot was at the front. Okay, so a big slot at the front, ignore that bit. Yeah, that's wrong. Uh, and that allowed me to slide it in. Okay. I've also put some uh, lolly sticks, popsicle sticks on there to glue it in, and that makes the motor mount a lot more strong and secure. Okay, so there you can see the, the fins are slotted in. So I cut a slot into the wing yeah, and slid the fin in yeah, and set it at that so that it can stand up now like that rather than resting on the fins okay now the uh, ailerons are made out of 5mm Depron 40mm at the widest 30mm at the narrowest uh, I cut a little bit extra off so that it doesn't catch on the ground okay uh, my battery position on the model is there look okay so I didn't need to cut all that space out I could have left more in there for the uh, to keep it stronger put some lollipop sticks in there to keep that strong as well the side strong okay let me put this back on and I'll show you the control movements Okay, so to fly level, as you can see, there is a lot of up, and that's just to fly level. Can you see all that? That's a lot. And uh, my roll 
There we go. So that's my maximum up, maximum down. I've got more up than down. My roll is like that, and that's plenty for me. Okay, the motor I used was a D2826, 2200kV, with a 6 before APC prop on there. And that is ballistic in that way. Now, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, these spots here. I covered it in sellotape, okay, to give it a bit of a protection. But the sun has reacted with it and caused this discoloration here. Okay, the uh, speed controller is literally just cable tied under the wing like that, okay. So that makes everything nice and simple. The Elon servos just fed in the wing. I think it might have been better if I put them in the top. I'll try that again on another one. The um, cables just stuck to the top with some packing tape. I've not cut a hole, just packing tape straight through into the body. And that's it. Okay, so there you go. There's my quick version of the uh, Fliddle. So as you can see, there's the measurements. I just cut the maximum amount of of the tail plane I could to use as that. Okay, it's 110 degrees. Sweep back, cut in a notch out in the front section and a slight notch in the rear so that the wing can slot in. Cut the notches out first, making a plan up makes it easy so that you can get your parallel lines or perfectly parallel. Once you cut your notches out, yeah, you can just slide your wing into position and fit your fins later and then balance it so that you've got it up. Okay guys, cheers. See you now.